What is up everybody? Good morning and welcome back to the vlog. Welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time on the channel, make sure that you hit the subscribe button. I wanna get that out first thing because I usually forget to say that in the videos, but I wanted to make this video and this video is gonna be car related and it's gonna be a way to show you how to debadge your car. What that means is take like the emblems off. So if you have a car and it says like, for instance, I have a Toyota Tacoma. It says Tacoma on the doors, on the tailgate. It says it has a V6 emblem and it's like has a sticky glue that sticks it on there. So I'm gonna show you how to remove that. And then I'm gonna paint some of the emblems I'm gonna leave on the car. They're chrome and I'm gonna paint them black. And then I'm also gonna take the front grill off of my truck and paint that black, because that's chrome. And so I'm gonna show you how to do that. So if you have a Toyota Tacoma, I'm gonna show you how to take the grill off. So for Toyota Tacoma people, this is gonna be especially good if you don't know how to take your grill off of the car. It's pretty easy to do with just basic, simple tools. And if you have any other type of car and you, maybe you wanted to paint your chrome black, I'm gonna show you how to do it. This whole thing's gonna cost me about $20 at most. And it's gonna drastically change the appearance of your car. So if you're a car person and you like to do little things and save some money, um, this will be a good video for you. So they sell these Toyota Tacoma emblems in black and I think they're overlays. I think they go right over your emblems. So they're gonna be a little bit bigger and thicker, but they're like 120 bucks plus shipping. I'm gonna do it with Plasti Dip Spray Paint, which is $5, I'll show you what it is. It's five bucks a can uh, at Home Depot. It's called Plasti Dip. So you paint this and it's literally like a rubber paint. So you put it on there and if at any point you don't like, you put it on nice and thick. So you do a bunch of coats. First coat you do nice and easy. You keep doing layer and layer and layer. So it's on really thick. If you ever hate it or want it off, you just start to peel it and you can peel the whole thing off like two years from now. So the idea is you have to put it on thick if you ever want to peel it off. Um, and then I also have a clear coat that wasn't Plasti Dip brand. Uh, and I don't know where it went. I'll have to ask Kristen. She moved everything. Oh, here it is. This is by Rustoleum. It's called Peel Coat. So they have to call it something different, so they're, I guess, not copyright, but it's the same thing, Plasti Dip. It's a plastic spray paint, but it's a clear coat. So if you want it to be a matte black, just do black. If you want it to be like glossy, put the clear coat on after. But uh, let's go outside and let's get started. So first thing up is the uh, Tacoma emblems. So I like the emblems, I just don't like them in chrome. So what I wanna do is paint them black so they fade into the car. So again, this is a side profile. I just don't like how the chrome stands out. I want that all to fade in. And on the back, Oh, there's Kristen doing strongman training. Kristen, say hi to the vlog. Hello to the vlog. So on the back we have this V6 uh, emblem. I could paint it black, but there's nothing else on it, so I just want it gone. Uh, it's, I guess the OCD in me, I just want it nice and all the same. And then, the last thing is this chrome surround. So the grill, I'm gonna leave it all this, the way it is. I just wanna paint this chrome piece black. So I'm gonna show you how to take out this whole piece and then paint it black. So here we go. So what I'm gonna do is take this, uh, this is just dental floss. Uh, so if you have floss in your kitchen or in, in your bathroom, uh, we're just gonna take out a big piece and what we're gonna do is feed it back behind this logo. So a nice long string and we're just gonna work it behind it and file it and just separate the emblem from the glue. The hotter the day, the better this is gonna be. If it's freezing cold, this glue is gonna be really hard. So try to get this in the sunlight and uh, warmer days are better. You could use a hair dryer to heat it up also to soften this up. And then once you have it, like the glue almost all the way off. So you can see that it's starting to saw all the way through. You can slowly just start to put a little pressure and pull it like up and down and separate it. So there we go, emblem's off. But now you got all this glue that's gotta come off of the truck. So I might get lucky. Because it's a newer truck, it might just peel off. Since it's not, the glue hasn't been sitting on the truck very long. All right, so you could see the emblem was right here. Uh, so I was able to peel it all off. I don't know if you can really tell in the picture, but there's still a little bit of residue. Yeah, right in here you could see. Uh, where is it, right here. So what I'm gonna do is get, uh, let me show you the product I'm gonna use. So I got this from Lowe's, this is Goof Off, it was like five bucks and I have a microfiber towel. So we're just gonna spray this onto the truck and then wipe it all down with this and that should do the trick. 
and just like that, it is all cleaned off. What I'm gonna do now is since uh, I'm gonna clean all this residue off, so I'm just gonna get soap and water, clean everything, soap it all up, and then when we're done, we'll wash the whole truck again and put wax back on. But you don't wanna just leave that residue sitting on the tailgate. So soap and water, and let's get that cleaned up, and then that job is done. All right, so now to get this out. So there's a sensor back here behind uh, the emblem, and that helps with the cruise control, uh, like the, uh, whatever it does. Anyway, what we have to do is, uh, first thing, this cord right here, is attached to the grill, so we're just gonna squeeze it, pop that guy out. So now it's free, right? So he's no longer in that hole. This one too. All we're gonna do is squeeze that, push that down. Uh, this way. Squeeze and push, and that's out. And then what we'll do is you see this little cord right here on the bottom side. You press this side in, press down. And then you use two hands to pull it apart. So I can't do that on camera, but I'm gonna separate this so it's one less thing I have to do when I unbolt it. So that's gonna come undone right now. All right, so as you can see, those are separated. Now what we're gonna do is this bolt and this bolt, see from the grill to here, 10 millimeter sockets, those two have to come out right now. All right, so that screws out, that screws out. Next thing is there's two more things right here, fastener there, fastener by this headlight here. All we're gonna do Let's get this camera to darken up. There we go. We're just gonna lift up. You might be able to do it with your fingernail. If not, um, grab yourself a flathead screwdriver. Just lift up on this. I'll set that screwdriver down. Lift up on this, and then that whole thing will pop right out. Same thing. This side, get your fingernail under it, lift up on the fastener. Once that's up, you can pull the whole thing out. So that's it. Now you can take this whole thing out. So what you wanna do with the grill is put your fingers in these two things. You're gonna lift up and pull towards you at the exact same time. So you're kinda of coming up on a 45. So you're gonna go up and towards you and this whole black paint and everything's gonna come out. Okay, next thing you have to do is go to the shelter adopt a dog and when you get the dog, get yourself a dog bed and then take this and set this on the nice soft dog bed. Next thing you're gonna to have to do is you'll see there's gonna be some screws Little tiny ones, one, two, I think there's 10 of them. All those little Phillips head screws have to come out. There's another one. All 10 of those come out. Once those are out, you'll see there's black and silver tabs. All the little chrome ones come out. All you do is squeeze them and push down after the screws are out. So all screws come out, take all these things, squeeze it with your finger, push it down, and the chrome is gonna pop right out. And just like that, the chrome piece is out. So now what we're gonna do is take this chrome piece, we're gonna rub it with some alcohol, wipe it all down so it's nice and clean. Kristen's gonna keep doing strongman stuff. All right, so just like that, we cleaned it. All I did was cotton ball and rubbing alcohol and just wiped it all down so it's nice and clean. Then find a part of your yard that you don't care about and uh, we're gonna get the black paint and we're gonna put the first coat on, first coat on nice and easy. We're not gonna try to overdo it. We're not trying to turn this black on the first coat. Also, why I'm spray painting this, I can't find the black. I mean, I can't find the blue uh, painter's tape to tape off the emblems on the doors, and I don't feel like driving to Home Depot right now. So my next thought is I might just take off the Toyota emblems, or the Tacoma emblems on the door, just get rid of them completely. Uh, so I'm undecided, do I paint them now, or do I just rip them off, because that V6 logo came off so easy. I might just get rid of the logos, the emblems on the door altogether. So I'm not sure yet, but let's paint this, and I'm gonna keep thinking about what to do about those emblems on the doors. All right, so again, first coat. We're just going nice and easy, and we're just starting to get a little bit of paint on there. You still see it's completely chrome, but at least the first coat's going. So I've done this a few times. I've realized if I try to overdo that first coat, it completely ruins. It goes on so thick, it starts running down the sides and it's a mess and I gotta wipe it all down and start over. So first coat, uh, by about the third coat, it starts to turn black. So again, even the second coat, even the second coat's not gonna make it completely black, but you just gotta be patient on the first like three coats. All right, so that's three coats. We're almost solid black. So probably by fourth and fifth coat, it'll be solid black. And I'm only giving it about not even five minutes in between coats. It dries so fast. All right, so that's about six or seven coats. I just kept doing a couple extra just to make sure it was solid black. So now time for clear coat. And that's three coats of clear coat. So now it actually has like a shine to it. So now it's time to reinstall everything back in the opposite order and we'll see how it looks when it's all finished. All right, so change of plans. Instead of painting them black, 
uh, since I can't find the blue painter's tape, I'm just gonna remove the emblems and see how it looks with them gone completely. Uh, I don't feel like running to the store and I think just removing them completely and having the truck all solid black will look just as good. So uh, worst case, if it doesn't look good, I don't like it. I'll just remove all of the sticky stuff, all of the glue from the back of the emblem and then I can paint them black and then put them back on the truck. So it's not the end of the world if I really don't like it, but uh, let's just get them off and see how it looks. And so just like that, same thing. I just used the uh, dental floss. I filed the uh, emblem right off. I peeled off all the thick glue and my fingernail it came off really easily. And then there's just a little bit of residue. You really can't even see it, but I'm just gonna use that same rag and just wipe it all down and that's it. So this is basically it. Um, that's how it's gonna look now with no chrome emblem. I didn't do the other side yet, just to give you an idea. So I do like the all black look versus having the chrome Tacoma on the door. And last time. I just think it looks cleaner. I just like the all black look. And then I'll show you putting the grill back on and how the final, uh, how it finally looks with the grill done. And just like that, we are done. This whole total time took me about maybe an hour and a half at most. The um, grill is done. I just redid it all back in the opposite order. Uh, and you can see this is all now no longer chrome. It is all solid black. I think it looks so much better in the front end. Um, maybe I'll make the thumbnail like a side by side of the black and the chrome, but just that one piece alone made it a lot darker in the front. Um, I just finished washing down the sides, but all the emblems are off now. And I think it looks so much better without the emblems. It gets rid of the chrome. And same thing, the tailgate too looks a lot cleaner, just having nothing at all on the back. So that's it, I ended up going through one can of Plasti Dip spray paint, which was five bucks. Uh, half a can of the clear coat, which was about, same thing, about maybe five bucks. The Goo Gone was same thing, five. So we're probably under 20 bucks, maybe $15 total in cost to get this all done like this. And it took me an hour and a half and it makes, I think to me, it looks a lot nicer and cleaner. So uh, if this is something you wanna do, um, I hope this helps. Comment down below, let me know what you think of the video. And remember, if you liked the video and you found it helpful, hit the like button. Thanks everybody, peace out.